of the dinghy it was actually really funny we got stuck in a little bit of the shallow sand for like two seconds but we figured it out but we have this to get back in and out of town if we require it but this is the houseboat itself obviously we are not allowed to drive it although i think i would make ow sorry i literally just smashed my nail bent inside out but anyways i was saying we're not allowed to pilot the boat although that would be very cool but it's right here on this little bay, little inlet thing that is absolutely beautiful. There's nobody else around. There's no other boats and no other anything around. It's just been us, which is so cool. And then I'll show you guys the inside. So you come in this door right here and it's completely functional. So there's a shower and a bath bathroom, not a bathtub, a compost toilet, which I've never actually seen before. That is super cool. And then a shower that I'm pretty sure does get warm. It does get like up to lukewarm, which is nice. And then over here, we do have a regular sink. They gave us a bottle of wine, which was so nice of them because I told him it was his birthday. So they gave us a bottle of wine, which is incredible. I love when Airbnbs do special things like that. And then they have, of course, like the pull-out Yeti. They have some water, everything that you would need, like sunscreen and everything. And then this couch bed does pull out into a regular bed. So it does sleep too, but it is super comfortable. Wow. And then over here, the door opens just in case it does get too hot. It does open to the outside to let more airflow. Also, when we're on this side, there is a little grill. So I did bring this cooler down here and I did bring steaks and drinks and seasoning so we can actually cook up some steak out here. We'll see how that turns out. Stay tuned if you want to see me burn some steak. And then probably one of the coolest things about this is that it has this ladder that goes up to the top deck and it has two little sunbathing chairs. I'll show you guys a clip of it, but it's so cool just to be able to go up there, relax, and just in the middle of the freaking ocean. That is ridiculous. I just want you to leave, darling. Me and my boyfriend really love doing unique Airbnbs and things like this. I always say, if you're gonna buy me a material gift, don't just get me something like this. And so it was his birthday and I decided to do something unique like this, but I love going to unique Airbnbs and just trying them out, seeing what they have to do. And this is probably one of the most unique ones I have ever seen. Just everything about it is so cool. Something that I really like too, is that there's basically no Wi-Fi. Like you're pretty much in the middle of nowhere. They do give you some uh, plugs to charge your phone, but this is it. This is all you have as far as technology goes is these little plugs to charge your phone. And then the rest you just unhook, which is my favorite. So we both brought our books. I brought some games. The Airbnb has some games. So I can't wait to spend two days here, just unplug and have this as my background. We're definitely gonna go in, although it's a little bit cold, but I mean, how can you not go in when you're staying on a freaking houseboat, guys? This is insane. And we just ended up going in the dinghy back to shore. The art festival didn't actually turn out to be happening that day. It was the following day. So we just walked around the town. The town there is so cute, guys. I actually fell in love with Sarasota. It's such an adorable town with so much to do. And then we just dinghy back after some dinner, which was absolutely delicious and enjoyed the views. I got some drone footage, which is just stunning. The sunsets and the sun rises are just to die for in this place. We turned the couch into a bed. It was kind of confusing. This is a futon. I've never had a futon, but now we're going to play some games. I brought Battleship and Last Word, and then here they had Jumbo Cards. This game, which I've seen before, but never played, and Exploding Kittens, which if you have not played this game, guys, you are missing out. This is the funnest game ever, literally ever, as it says here, the best game ever. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day two. I'm getting ready. I just wanted to give a brief update on what it was like last night sleeping on a houseboat because it's my first time doing that. And I will say, 
it was a little bit scary. It started to get pretty windy here last night and so the boat woke me up like four or five times and it was rocking back and forth. I mean, I looked out the window and the waves were like pew, pew, and you could hear it with the waves slamming on the boat. I was pretty nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Like I had to wake up at three in the morning, I checked the weather, I had just in case there was like a hurricane coming cause we're in Florida, so you never know. Also, I wouldn't even really consider myself that much of a light sleeper, but I definitely recommend if you're going on this houseboat or any houseboat, definitely bring earplugs because what would happen is I would finally fall asleep and then the of like the water hitting the boat that was a horrible impression but that would wake me up so i would actually wake up i woke up last night like three or four times so we ended up sleeping in today a little bit because uh i didn't expect to get woken up like that obviously but other than that the bed was super comfortable it wasn't cold at all in here even though it was pretty cold outside because we do have like four or five blankets they did provide a ton just in case it did get cold so that was nice of them it didn't get cold at all but really i would just say bring earplugs and definitely dress warm if it's going to be warm dress cool if it's going to be cool and then check the weather unfortunately today it is a very cloudy cloudy day like it doesn't look sunny at all you can kind of tell it says 99 percent cloud cover and it's freezing and this is what i brought to wear with a hoodie so We'll see how that goes, but we're gonna get ready. We're grilling up some steaks right now, and then we are gonna go down to land to go check out Siesta Key Beach. And there's an art festival going on today, which we thought was yesterday, but when we asked a nice lady who was setting up, she said it was actually Saturday and Sunday. So we're gonna go check that out, get some food, and I'll show you guys all of that. Steaks are almost done grilling, so we're gonna eat some steak and then we're gonna get out of here on the dinghy, head back to shore and check out the art festival. This art festival was actually one of the largest art festivals that I have been to. It's crazy because in Florida, we do a lot of art festivals. People love their art festivals, but this one had a ton of different mediums. I mean, they had huge sculptures, paintings, photographs. It was incredible to see all that. And we walked around for honestly like an hour and a half. It was so big. I didn't expect that and so, so many people but it was really convenient that that happened to happen on the same weekend that we were there because that was completely unplanned and then we got some food again at this italian place prosciutto pizza is absolutely amazing you guys need to try it and then of course we went down to the beach it actually ended up being really sunny it did start out pretty cloudy but it did warm up throughout the day which was great and again i've said this in my last video where i went to sarasota but sarasota beach is just so beautiful specifically this is lido beach but i love how the sand is so soft and how there's just so much room on the beach for you to play sports or hang out or just hang out with a big group of people again i had to get the drone out for some incredible beach footage because if the beach doesn't make you feel calm and at peace and just like your life is incredible i don't know what to tell you because as a floridian the beach is literally my favorite place you can do everything and anything at the beach and it's just so relaxing to be there We're just now leaving the beach. It was pretty cold. It always seems that whenever I come here to film these kind of vacations or trips, it's always cold when I come to the beach. Like what, what is up Florida? And then tomorrow it's supposed to be like 80 degrees, which kind of sucks for me, but I didn't get in, but it was still fun. It's still a really nice beach. It has that really white soft sand that you have in Clearwater Beach. Obviously it's the same coast, but it's a pretty similar beach. Also a pretty long beach so you can play sports. There were some people throwing baseballs and footballs and everything. And I think now we're going to hit an arcade, possibly that's in town, and then head back to the houseboat, grill up some more food, and just chill. Grill and chill. We actually ended up going to this arcade twice because we loved it so much. It was $20 all you can play, so you didn't have to pay per claim. And they also did have really modern games like Fortnite and Xboxes and all these things that you can play modern games, which I loved, loved, loved. We spent so much time there. Good morning, everybody. I actually got in for the first time today. It's a little bit warmer. I'm not gonna lie, it's still pretty cold. But I had to get in at least once because like we're on a houseboat. Like I can't not get in. So I got in, it was freezing. It's also very, very shallow. If you're thinking about jumping off the top or anything, don't. It's like a foot, maybe. Yeah, I think it goes up to like my calf, mid-calf maybe. But 
We're packing up, we packed up the dinghy and we're cleaning up the room and we're gonna leave today, which is sad. I don't wanna go. Last night I slept so much better, like a million billion times better and I'm ready to move in to a houseboat. Like if anyone wants to buy me a houseboat out there, like I am more than willing to oblige to live in it. <laughs> but that's it, so we're gonna just get ready to go, enjoy the sun for a little bit longer. We bought some food yesterday at Publix so we can enjoy it here today and then we're gonna get out of here. I'm honestly devastated to leave. I'm really sad, we're cleaning up right now. We just had the most peaceful morning in the world. We were reading our books, had some coffee, honestly just laid down. I got in the water a little bit and honestly, I am really, like I just said, sad to leave. I definitely think we're gonna come back here for a weekend, maybe in a few months in summer uh, so that we get the heat because it was really nice today just sitting in here with the heat and getting in the water, all those things. Yesterday it was a little too cold for that. So I think we'll definitely come back, but RIP this little houseboat, we will miss you. Thank you to the host for hosting us. Obviously they don't know that I was even filming this trip, but I appreciate it. You guys were great hosts. They were super helpful. If you guys are curious, if you have any questions, I will link this Airbnb down below if I can. If not, it's just a houseboat in Sarasota. I'm sure you'll find it. And I thank you guys for watching this video.